Champagne, Stan Lee Green can still remember how hyped he and the other Illinois freshman football players were toward the end of last year's game against Purdue. With three seconds remaining Green stood on the bench hoping Illini kicker Chase McLaughlin's 41-yard field goal would win the game. The feeling didn't last long. McLaughlin's kick bounced off the uprights and Purdue went on to win the Big Ten game in overtime. This time around Green is hoping for a different result as Illinois, 2-6, 0-5, heads to West Lafayette, Indiana, to play Purdue at 11 a.m. Saturday, BTN, in the battle for the cannon. Both teams are struggling to find wins as the Alini are on a six-game losing streak in Purdue, 3-5, 1-4, has lost its last three games. I feel like it would jumpstart us, Green said about getting a win on Saturday. I feel like it would give us some momentum going into the rest of the season. Green says that despite the losing streak, Illinois has been maintaining positive vibes in the locker room as it prepares for Purdue. The Boilermakers are gaining 383.1 yards per game, which ranks 7th in the Big Ten. Purdue has four running backs that average over 100 yards per game. Illinois ranks last in the conference in rush defense. However, last week the Alini limited Wisconsin to 135 yards. Green believes the return of linebackers Delshin Phillips and Del Harding helped against the Badgers. I felt like that was two linebackers that really help with the run game, and when they're not there it's really hard to stop, Green said. We got them back, and I felt like we just played better as a team. Similar to Illinois, Purdue has decided to go with a two-quarterback system with sophomore Moore Elijah Sindler and David Blow. After starting the season averaging 265.2 passing yards per game, Purdue has been averaging 171.3 in its last three games. Last year against Illinois, the Boilermakers played Blow the entire way as he threw for 220 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. Illini coach Lovey Smith isn't concerned with having to prepare for two quarterbacks. You have different packages based on who is in the game, Smith said. Just like you have different packages based on what personnel groupings you have in the game. You do that the same way with the quarterback. This year's Purdue team is under new leadership in coach Jeff Brome's first year with the team. Brome spent three years at Western Kentucky with a 30-10 record before this season. Smith has had to adjust to Brome's style and anticipation for this week. I just know this year, similar approach with some of the things, but they're multiple at what they do, Smith said. They run the ball, yes, but passing-wise you name it they have it. Lot of trick plays, so it's one of those games where you really need to be disciplined in what you do.